Today, we've got stock of all the new Case Revolution magnetic filters and kits. I'll talk about what I really love about them, give some words of reassurance to those of you who have Wolverine filters. Uh, it's gonna be all about these amazing high quality magnetic filters. Well, hey everyone, it's Hudson. I'm really excited that we got the Case Revolution filters in. Individual filters, kits, mega kits, they're all in stock and I'm replacing the Wolverine stock in my store with 82 millimeter and 112 millimeter Case Revolution kits. Now, as I said, for those of you who have Revolution or have Wolverine filters and have got a good collection of those going, don't stress, don't freak out. The glass is the same optical quality. It's not better. The Wolverines are amazing tempered, you know, optical glass, shock proof, color neutral, really, really high quality. Same exact glass. What's new and different about these filters is the color coding. Uh, a little bit nicer case that comes with the 82 millimeter filters that holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven filters. Uh, this is the mega kit with a cap, a circular polarizer, or a UV filter, circular polarizer, silver, three stop is blue, six stop is gold, 10 stop is red, and neutral night filter is green. Uh, all fits right and nice like that. They have a little bit stronger magnetism, so they're less likely to even get knocked off if it's bumping around on your side and bouncing into your bag. Um, I'll show you in a minute how I use the 82 versus how I use the 112 millimeter filters and why those are the sizes that I recommend, along with a little caution about one of the accessories that they send with this kit that I, I really don't think you ought to use. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, so the, the real benefits of it are those, plus there's a front filter thread, a single thread on the front of each of these filters, and somehow they've still managed to keep them shockingly thin. They're not noticeably thicker, but they have this one little filter thread. And the benefit of that to me is the ability to use a traditional pinch cap. And we'll talk about that in a second too. So, you know, if, if you're interested in these, run over to my website. You can click right here or just go to hudsonhenry.com case. And I've got all the individual filters in the kits. You want to email me, connect with me, hit me up in the comments. I'm happy to talk about what I'm selling and why. Um, why 82 and 112 millimeter? Well, it's really, really quite simple to me. I think if you only have smaller sized lenses than 82, say your largest filter size is 77, you might be surprised that in a couple of years as your photography develops and as your brand comes out with new lenses, there may be a lens that you really want that's 82 millimeter fil filter threaded. As you start getting really into long exposure and you wanna stack these filters and you have an ultra wide angle lens that's 77 millimeters, suddenly you realize, oh man, I'm getting a lot of vignetting putting the filtration system together on this lens that I have, if only I had a little bit bigger filter. And that's where the 112s come in. You have zero worries. You can stack them to the moon. They're easy to stack magnetically. I'm about to demonstrate that. But you have no concerns whatsoever stacking these big filters. Plus, if as many of you in this community are, you're using the Nikon Z system, this HB97 hood is a real winner. It's a 112 millimeter filter threaded. It kind of spawned the genre of 112 millimeter filters, and it fits a whole plethora of Nikon Z lenses from the 14 to 30 to all three 2.8 zooms, the 14 to 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200 Trinity, uh, as well as the 51.2. And it comes with the 14 to 24, but you can buy it separate. Everything that I talk about in here, if it's not in my case page on the store, is over at my links, hudsonhenry.com slash ATS links, or just click right here. Uh, and you can, you, know, you can take this hood and fit it on any of those Z lenses that I just mentioned, and all of a sudden, there's a little ring that comes with each 112 millimeter magnetic filter, or it comes with the kit as a whole. It's a little inset ring that you spin in there, and all of a sudden, you can drop in, you know, let's say we want to do long exposure with this ultra wide angle lens. Well, click, there it is. You're suddenly working with 10 stops in neutral density. Oh, let's say you really want to get serious about your neutral density. Well, let's just stack a six atop that. Now we've got 16 stops. Kind of put your thumbnail on the 10, pull the 
the six back off, you could do a polarizer plus a 10 stop. And you can spin it just as easy as that in its magnet. It's in there nice and bomb proof, works great. Um, you want to work at night, you pull the 10 stop out, you drop the neutral night in. I think you're getting the picture. The UV filter, suddenly you're working in spraying salt water, blowing sand. You don't want to mess up this spectacular lens's front elements. Well, grab the black one, which is straight UV. And the color coding on these lenses makes it really easy to see which one you're pulling in and out of this bag. And because they're so thin and light, carrying a whole set of these 112 millimeter filters doesn't take that much room in your bag. So I'm a huge advocate of that. But you know, what if you have a lens that doesn't take the 112 millimeter filter system? Well, that's actually pretty easy too. You can just pull that thing off. And let's say I was working with my uh, 24 to 120. I often work with the 24 to 120 as well as the 100 to 400. Slip that guy on there. Pull, I've got a, a case UV filter, a 77 on here just to protect this lens because I knock around with it a lot. In my bag, I keep this case magnetic cap along with a 77 to 112 millimeter adapter magnetic ring. We have those in our store as well. And you can just spin that guy right on to the front, Whoop, pull it off. And all of a sudden, all those 112 millimeter filters drop right in front of my 24 to 120 or my 100 to 400, no problem either. Now I always get people asking me, well, what if I wanna use a hood? I can't use an adapted larger filter and a hood at the same time. Well, you know, I mean, there's truth to that. Uh, I, I tend to view hoods in today's amazing optical modern glass as more of a protector of your front element than a thing that's gonna cause a lack of ghosting and flare. Now you can get into situations more in the studio than in natural light where there could be potential issues with ghosting and flare, but it's really rare. And the nano coatings and the optical coatings on the glass now are so good, you can shoot straight into the sun. And if your lens is clean, you stop down a little bit, you'll get a star and no ghosting and flare. Um, so I, I tend to not use hoods that much in the field. Uh, if I do, it's this one that just lets me use a bigger, better filter. Um, working with this in the 82 millimeter size, you know, I bumped all over Cuba with Nikon's new 82 1.2 lens. This is my 105 1.4, which is a native 82 millimeter filter mount. Uh, I, can, I can easily throw the included standard 82 millimeter magnetic filter adapter on the front of this lens. And it has a little thread on there. It still lets me use my pinch cap like normal on this lens, which I love. And here's where the little, the little filter thread I was talking about really comes in handy. So this blue case filter is a three-stop filter. And with this 105 1.4 out in broad daylight, this lets me shoot scenes at 1.4 with you know, a shutter speed in the 4,000th of a second realm like you need with the Nikon Z6. And because it's got the stronger magnetism, I mean, I bumped all over Cuba with this bouncing on my side on the street. You can see, you know, with the Wolverines, they wouldn't fall off even if you shook them. But if it bounced against you, the filter would come off. And, you know, I have people that the way they like to run with their cameras, it kind of bounces against things, their pack, their side, and they had a lot of problems. These new revolution filters, you're gonna have a lot less issue with that just because the magnet's stronger. With the stronger magnet and the new Revolution caps though, it's kind of difficult to pull the cap off, the magnetic cap, without taking the filter with it. The single filter thread that they put on the front of the new Revolution filters, I think that they envisioned you using it with the traditional threaded filter in front of it, which to me, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but being able to use a pinch cap suddenly makes this way more utilitarian, especially if you're running and gunning with a circular polarizer or a little bit of ND for a fast prime like this. Because you pinch the cap, boom, you just took the cap off but left that tightly magneted filter on the front. Let's say you suddenly walk indoors and you know, you're in a, a bazaar or something in, in Havana, you're in a market. Well, suddenly you can just pull the filter and the cap off and you got a clean pocket to drop it in. These things are so scratch and, and dust resistant. Just slip it into your pocket, 
when you want it back on, put it back on, you go back in broad daylight, you want just the filter on, you pinch the cap. I think being able to use a pinch cap with these magnetic filters is an awesome, awesome advancement. It's like one of my favorite things about them. That and the ease, obviously, of swapping and flipping around. And we've got magnetic adapters for the 82s, too. So, for example, I use the 82s a lot with my Leica Q2, which I thread that little metal hood that comes with it off, and it reveals a 49 millimeter filter ring. And I've got a little pack that I carry with the Q2. It's a uh, it's a filter nest. You go over to my ATS links page, you can find these filter nests linked. They're from Think Tank. And I have two things in there. I have a stack of neutral density filter, a 3, 6, and 10 stop revolution filter. And I have a circular polarizer on a case 49 to 82 millimeter magnetic adapter with a metal cap on it. So if I want to suddenly polarize with my Leica Q2, it's as easy as whoop, spinning that guy on there. Whoop, suddenly I've got a polarizer. If I want to switch from polarizing over to uh, a bit of neutral density, heck, I could put all three of them on there. Suddenly I have 19 stops in neutral density. Obviously, I probably don't need that, but now I have three to get that 1.7 aperture without having the fastest shutter speed in the camera. Boom, that's simple. And you know, one thing nice with the filter nest with the 82 millimeter filters is that I can put all three of those neutral density filters stacked together in one slot, as well as <clears throat> the 49 to 82 millimeter adapter and the cap and the, um, and the, 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 the polarizer, circular polarizer. Poof, spit it out, Hudson. You can see what I mean by having the cap be tough to get on and off without the filter. Boop. You can also put a pinch cap in there. I should probably do that since I can. So I use these things all the time. The 112 is my preferred for when I'm really going out with my gear in the landscape. You know, my preferred Nikon kit these days is the 14 to 24, 24 to 120, 100 to 400. I got the 800. I have some assorted primes that I love, like the 51.8 and the... Uh, 105 1.4 old F mount and the 105 2.8 macro. Those are just amazing, amazing lenses. Uh, and I can adapt any of those. This whole kit, like I said, you know, we've got the 77 to 112 adapter, the HB97 hood. It's got its little cover, so you got a click on cap and then the filters. They take very little room in my bag to have all of those filters. Um, I'm loving them. Again, you know, like I said, those of you with Wolverines, there's nothing wrong with those Wolverine filters, but I think as they wear out or as you lose one or one, you know, something happens or you're thinking about adding a new one to the kit, you should go with the Revolution. They're just really, really nice. They are a bit nicer. Now, I did say there's one accessory that I would round file. Comes with the smaller filters, not the 112 millimeter. 112 millimeter, you want to use that inset, um, ring and just put it into your HB97 hood. There's an, a magnetic ring in here that's just put in here and left in here. So use the one that comes, leave it in your hood. With the 82 millimeter system, you're going to find that it comes in the box. I wish I could change it, but it comes in the box with two rings. There's a standard ring that's thicker and mounts out on the front of your lens. I just spun that one on to my 82 millimeter. And like I said, it accepts a pinch cap or the filters. I just leave it on this lens. It also comes with this really thin, feels like you could break it if you bend it, ring they call an inset ring that comes with this little plastic spanner tool. And it's got a couple of grooves. And their idea is that you'll spin this into the front of your lens or your UV filter all the way down in, and it still can fit a pinch cap behind it or a traditional filter in front of it, but it suddenly makes it magnetic being inset, and then you'd be able to reach in with this little tool and spin it back out. The problem is it's really easy to cross-thread. I tested it on a lens I didn't care that much about. It's really easy to cross-thread. It's also really hard to get this tool into those little grooves without it slipping out, and the possibility of you scratching that precious coated front element of your lens working with this little thing inside the front of your lens is high. You know, I, I would just argue that you should take this and round file it the minute that you get the kit or put it in the box and put it on the shelf because I, I personally would just use the standard 
ring adapter. Don't use that smaller inset adapter. Only the big burly one that comes with the 112 millimeter filters that threads so nicely into this hood. And when you're putting it into the hood, not a big deal because there's nothing to scratch up in there. And it's nice to have it low profile in there. All right, so that's what I love about the Revolution stuff. Again, you can run over to my website, hudsonhenry.com slash case, and you can find all the stuff categorized by 112 millimeter and 82 millimeter. I also carry their K9 uh, 100 uh, millimeter square filter system with some kits that are just straight neutral density. Since I'm not a big graduated neutral density fan, I'd much rather do more natural nuanced um, high dynamic range imaging with bracketing. That's a topic for another video, but um, I, I just adore these filters. I use them all the time. I've been using them for years, and I think that the new Revolution filters are a significant step up. So, you know, I've got all these filters. If for some reason you want another size, I know there are some people who work with the 14 to 30 lens instead of the 14 to 24 Nikon lens, and, and I've seen some people choose to go 95 millimeters instead of 112 to have that adaptability without vignetting. Um, if that's the case, just hit me up. I can special order anything from Case, and the US distributor lives just a few minutes away from me across town, so it's easy for me to get with an extra day's lead time. And again, just hit me up with any questions or comments that you have. Uh, I appreciate your, your checking in and watching this. Don't freak out if you've got a whole Wolverine kit. <clears throat> They're just as good as filters. These are just a little bit easier to use. It's a, it's a slight movement along the road to perfecting the system, which is already pretty amazing. So I hope you're enjoying. Uh, I'm gearing up to go to Glacier National Park uh, with an with a amazing workshop crew, one of my favorite favorite places on the planet. Rick and I are so excited. Uh, so we're taking off for that next week. And then I've got a cousin's wedding. I'm going to be gone for a little while. We'll be having another big free photography meetup on Zoom and YouTube Live, our office hours session. It's uh, going to be the, the beginning of August, actually, I think. Or is it? No. My, well, it's, it's a little ways off. You can check. You can find out when the date is over on my Office Hours website. You can sign up and leave us a question. Uh, we love to see you in those meetings. We have a ton of fun. So sign up for that over at hudsonhenry.com slash office hours or click this link. Again, there are links. There's a link to another video when the, when the Revolution Filters first launched in this video's description along with the page with all the Revolution Filters and HB97 hood and the Think Tank Filter Nest, that's all in this video's full description. You just click the title or show more. Um, oh, and another quick word, uh, we're gonna be doing a uh, on-one photographer's seminar, a live session, a conference with Kelby Live, and I'll be doing two of those live workshops, one on using on-one for wildlife photography, another for on-one for landscape photography. Uh, so if you're an on one user or you're curious, run over and check that out. I'm putting a link in this video's full description to Kelby's uh, YouTube app for that, which has a sign up. So that's going to be on July 25th and 26th. Plenty of lead time for that. Hope to see you there, especially if you use on one. I know a lot of you do. All right. Thanks, everybody. I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope this demystifies the case system a little bit. Oh, the one other question I get, if you've watched it to this point, and you really are a loyal follower. The one other question that I get is, what are the case sky eye filters? Those are case magnetic filters that have a full threaded front end, uh, like a traditional filter, which makes them thicker, makes them more prone to vignetting. Plus, I just don't see hanging a big traditional filter off the front of a, a magnetic filter. Not to mention that if you really did want to do that, the new Revolution filters have that single thread that'll work too. Again, I think it's better to use for a pinch cap. All right, there you go. That's all the news that's fit to print on this whole filtration system. If you try it, you're gonna love it. I guarantee it. All right, thanks everybody. Stay safe, stay creative, and we'll see you next week.